Right, so what ships have I got left to move here? So I've got this very damaged scammed ship. So that was on two hit points, I think, and now it's on four. So four hit points a turn, that's not exactly amazing. But if you stick it on a planet, I think it in orbit of a planet, then it actually heals quicker. And I can get further healing boosts uh, later on for uh, Snaffy. To be honest, healing abilities and all that amazing, I think. There's ways that you can actually heal your ship in combat and at, certainly at a lot faster rate than that, so I don't think it's a great ability really. Uh, so this sneak ship, I'm kind of waiting now for... Um, well, there's constructors aren't I really over here, can't move any further until I've got those. So I think, might as well find out what's in the fog though. Uh, this scout can come down here. Okay, oh, so I've just found the planets. So yeah, there could be quite a few planets over here then, potentially. So that's uh, tourism, class 9. So I, well, that's, I think it's 15 tiles it needs to be within for me not to need any range, or maybe 14 tiles, so I should be able to colonize that and then get a really quick colony ship out to there. I think that's what I'll do. Uh, this is coming down here. I actually found an anomaly. I still don't believe we found an anomaly that is one of the new precursor world anomalies, sadly. And we still haven't found a precursor planet either. Okay. That actually had the movement points, and so did that. I think that's it for the turn, so production here. Okay. I'm considering maybe picking up Iron Drive, because I might actually need a lot of speed on this map, because everything is so far away from me. But I'm not sure I'd normally research it with a snathy, at least early on. Uh, the scavenger, so I've found everything over here, I can... Well, I've got a scout there, I've got that there. Uh, gonna call... I'm gonna bring... I'm actually gonna bring it up here then, I think, this one. So, six movement, I might as well find the fog on the roots. Okay. The constructor should be done. Should have completed this turn. Let's have a look. Yep, there you are. Let's also kick it out of the shipyard. Not where I wanted it, though. Right, so I should be able to get all of these three folium resources. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's like um, a radius of five tiles each side on a star base. So if I put it there, I should be able to get all of those. In theory, and hopefully I don't run into pirates on the way. It's very rare that a pirate's actually manage to kill anything, you have to be pretty careless or unlucky to uh, have a ship killed by pirates really, because they move so slowly. Okay. Uh, that colony ship should be able to colonize this turn. So I want this to be malevolent, I need to get that well, the, that for as much manufacturing as quickly as possible. Uh, let's move one there. This probably be a good research world, maybe. I probably want it to be a... S don't have a clump of planets. Well, maybe manufacturing with that one. It's near to it. In Colonize and events, manufacturing. That'll do me fine. Okay, so what is this? Military bonus. I really need the terraforming tank to figure out where I can colonize later on, but uh, let's put that on there. So that is a wealth and research. Yeah, this is probably going to be either a military planet or a research planet, I'm thinking. Uh, that space junk, so it's going to be a pretty crappy, 
pretty crappy rewards, but I think I'll go towards it. It's debatable whether or not I should do this though. Probably be like 100 credits tops. Right, so now you can see that having colonized that, my range has increased significantly. So I can pretty much get to all of these worlds now. There's one well down there. Uh, I should probably focus my direction over here more. I mean, it's possible there's an empire down here. If there is, then it doesn't matter. But if I go in that direction, then anyone up here would be colonizing those before those, if you see what I mean. So I need... Well, there could be an empire there, though. So... But they're a long way from there. But, uh... Yeah, we'll see. Okay. There might not be a rush to colonize that one if there's no one down here. Okay. Um... Do I still want another one of those, or should I? I could get a quick colony ship to go down there and get that, but I, yeah, it looks... I don't think there's anyone down here I'm going to risk it. So I could get a constructor out there. I could send a colony ship up here quickly. You know what? I think I'm going to get another... I'm going to get a colony ship out first before that. I'll probably bring that one up here. After the constructor, then we'll get the constructor out there. We'll see, I guess. I don't like to make constructors at this stage of the game, really, because you, there's no real danger of you losing out on resources at this stage of the game. Real danger is losing out on con on planets. But since I don't have the range to grab the planets, I need the constructors in this uh, circumstance. Colonize that next hill. My manufacturing's about to really come up then. No sign of any aliens down here. Which is fantastic. So I could have all this to myself. Uh, right, let's colonize this then. So, Hen Ben is class 10, it's got enough aquatic, uh, frozen planet near to it. Um, probably would be a research world, this one as well. So, let's uh, colonize. Now, this is the one I want to pick. So, I really want them 11 ideology quickly. But, minus 50% of population growth, that's one heck of a negative amount. I think I'm still going to pick it though. Yeah. And I should probably let you into my plan with the Snaffy as well when it comes to ideology. So I'm going to be going up this direction, getting these because they're absolutely amazing. The production bonuses allowed my capital to be able to create uh, ships in very quick time with huge amounts of manufacturing. But I am actually going to dip into the pragmatic tree at some point. Because the Snathia is so awful when it comes to diplomacy, I'm going to end up at war, probably. Someone's going to declare war on me. But I can do something to prevent that if I pick up this. This will allow no one to be able to declare war on me for 50 turns whenever I pick it up. So that could really help me out a huge amount. I wouldn't take this with most races, but with a race that's terrible in diplomacy, it's probably a pretty good idea to pick it up. I think I picked it up in my Terran game because I went pragmatic with them. I can't remember if I picked it up with the Iridium Corporation or not in my previous Let's Play. Oh, but we can pick something here, so let's not forget that. Uh, so let's pick up Relentless. Now this gives an extra 10 to manufacturing just on your home world. What it it kind of suggests it's only one planet, but in actual fact it's the home system, not the home world. So if I had a second planet uh, habitable planet on my home world, it would affect that as well. So it's really particularly good for some races that have two or more planets, like the Korean, it would be amazing because they have three. Uh, but if I go here, you can see Relentless, that's what I just picked up. It's a flat plus 10, it's not actually percent, so it's basically just like raw production for manufacturing. So that's, it's an amazing bonus, and that's now. 84.6 and we get an extra 20% because of the snaffy ability so I'm now uh, basically putting 113 into the shipyard so I've nearly got enough to pump a ship out every turn or at least sometimes I will be able to 
pump a ship out every turn because uh, it carries over a bit. So that's great. Uh, I'm tempted now to start putting up research on that planet, but not yet. Let's get some ships out quickly because I'm freaking low on colonies. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to dip into the Pragmatic Tree. How many points do I need now? I need 20. So that's two planets being colonized, basically, or one event, possibly. Because it gives you more sometimes. So I probably want to time it around turn 50 to 60, I think. This seems to be set turns where the AI starts to become more aggressive with you. So you have to keep that in mind. The fact that I haven't found any empires, I really don't need that pragmatic pick yet, definitely. Now, my range has been extended over here, as you can see, so that's going to allow this scavenger to get over there. Uh, the scouts aren't able to do much over here, though. Uh, i kind of tempted to get Universal Translator now, just to talk to uh, those miners. I might be able to trade something, who knows. Not quite yet, though. Right, so that's there, and I think I've... Uh, I should bring that up here now. Because I'm not too distant time, going to be able to... have the range up here. So colonizing that planet actually extended my range by one, I think. Let's pick up the space junk. 48 credits. Nothing special at all, is it? Ah, here we go. So this is one of the new precursor anomalies, and you can see it mentions it's heavily defended. In fact, it's so heavily defended that my scavenger would not be able to successfully beat the defenders here. I have tested it previously. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to get this for a while. I'm going to have to build some uh, survey ships that actually have weapons on. If you watched my Iridium Let's Play then you'll know the type of ship that I'm going to be building. Right, so Hemben. Uh, there's manufacturing up here. So... Yeah, let's stick a factory there. This is yet another movement bonus. So we've got two of those now. So it's an extra 10% movement. Not sure if that's enough to give uh, increase the speed of my ships. It might be though. So it's approval and wealth. Uh, let's stick that on manufacturing. Come back to that later. So, what is this? This is my surprise coming up here, isn't it? I think we're done for the turn. Cancel that. That's. What should I place that to? I think I'll come out down there with that, actually. Uh, where is this to? That's 15 move, and I can actually create a star base this turn with this, I think. Right, so if I create it there, yeah, all three of those Thulium resources would be in range. And any other resources that I can't see under that fog as well. So, uh, let's create a star base. Okay, and that should increase my range pretty well, 
significantly hopefully well I can certainly get to those planets now so that's a big help if I can colonize something in that area it will extend my range even more I should be able to colonize something there surely uh, let's uh, come over here with the scout ship okay uh, yeah I think I'll go around there That's can come down here. That's actually a planet there. Crappy one. So I'm not sure I should make that priority to colonize. Right, so all of a sudden things are looking up a bit. There's a lot more planets to go after. Uh, right, this scout. Over here. And I've actually got an ability to upgrade this, so mining rain I'm gonna go for since there's three sources of thulium there. Thulium is used to actually you can use it as a prototype survey module so it's very very useful uh, right so what's being made here another improviser oh I've left my colony ship here I almost forgot that something I do pretty frequently and I gotta make sure I don't do it so population uh, that's near to cap that's near to cap I think I'm gonna put the full Three billion on there. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna send it up here. That's yeah. That can wait. That can wait. I'm assuming there's an empire up here, so I need to get up here quickly. Oops. If you auto it, it always takes a route round nebulas, which is uh, very useful. So that is a good reason why you should auto some stuff. Alright, uh, I think we're done for the turn, so next turn. I found the Iridium Corporation. So the Iridium are traders, they don't tend to be too aggressive, so they're... Uh, Shouldn't be a big problem to me, hopefully. And I picked up that Thulia. I picked four random races, so... There's a lot more evil races within the game, currently. Although I've gone one of them. But the Yor, the Kryn, the Drengen are all uh, very aggressive. I'm sure we'll, there'll be at least one of them. Will provide us with a good challenge. They're not so evil races and are less aggressive. But to be honest, uh, the AI needs a lot of work, so I'm uh, not sure how much of a threat the AI is going to be. We'll guess we'll see. Depends how much they colonize, really. That's the real key thing. The fact that I got a bad start means they should colonize pretty decently, arguably. Another planet over here. That's a research world, so definitely. I want to pick that up. Uh, so that construct just finished. Now that is more than 10 tiles away that from that I've checked it before. So I think I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five. This constructor there. And my scouts. So. That's just that range. I think I'm gonna try and colonize that next. Get more range over here. So I'm gonna put that in the list. I might need less than that actually, but uh, in terms of range modules, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm not gonna muck around too much micromanaging if I do. 
Uh, right, so let's come over here. Right. No sign of any empire down here, which is great. Well, actually, we the Iridium found me, so I can't see an Iridium ship anywhere, but I need to figure out where they are quickly so I can focus my colony ships going in the, the direction that they're in. Okay, what's the deficit? Minus 11, that's pretty tiny. So I'll come down there and find out that. Okay. Pirates. Big fleet, but they're very slow. So I should put this one, I think, head up towards there, is it? Okay. And is that making... Oh, it's making that. So that one's going to go to there. I think I'm done for the turn. Uh, if I took a turn out, I could get that Universal Translator, which I should really highly consider doing. Do we... Yeah, I've got one there. Let's uh, take that out here. Uh, let's stick a billion on this. Okay, looks like I found the first precursor world. Uh, so there's another eight of these. So basically, it has some weird precursor uh, construction on it. This one is Valitra 1. A precursor world created by mining out a Promethean planet. Shipyards sponsored by this world will have greatly increased range. So you get extra raw production from this world and five Promethean resources. It's a class 16 planet, but it has a huge negative to food amounts and also a synthetic pop cap should you be a race such as the Yore that are affected by that. So I want to pick that up very soon. Uh, it's really in a part of the map where there might not be any other AI empires though, so I could delay picking that up potentially. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to delay that. Um, might not. Let's continue to come down here. So what's my current range of my colony ships are the same as my scouts. And is that one mine? No, it's not. Uh, where is the scouts? So it's just outside of range. So I might have to make a special colony ship to get that. I'll have to figure that out in a minute. Okay. Yeah, really, it's really starting to look there's, like there's no one down here, which is fantastic. So I've got a lot of planets to myself. Uh, let's come down here next, is it? Come back to that. Snappy Prime, I need to figure out. I think with this one, I still bring it over to there. Okay. 
So if I colonize that, it should give me range to there. I doubt it would give me range to that one, no. Uh, the scavenger. Six more front left. There's lots of different types of precursor worlds as well, it's not just that type. Uh, not all of them I'll be able to colonize, and I'll have to get colonization tank first, but I guess we'll see. Uh, so, where's this going? Don't know. Uh, this constructor's still coming over here. I should keep this scout near to that, really. Uh, next turn I should be able to colonize, so let's bring that to there. Uh, set up Starbase, I should say. Uh, that colony ship and a shipyard. Right, I'm going to figure out what I'm putting in here. I'm not going to take any risks when it comes to losing out on this precursor world, so I've actually updated one of my Denmaker colony ships. So this has enough range and a lot of engines to get over there very quickly. I don't think anyone else would get it, but yeah, I'm not going to take a chance. So let's stick one of those here, uh, if I can find it. So that's the right one there. And I believe I got one ship to move this turn, so let's put that on auto. Hopefully there's no pirates. Okay, so that's done. And I think that's it for the turn. So, and a turn. Cancel out. Did I have one in there? Hopefully not. Right. Uh, that's going to there. I can get that to scout that as well, so I won't get my scout to do either of those. Uh, this one. Let's keep on burning it down here then. Okay. Yeah, more Promethean. Wow. Don't know if they changed the Promethean settings at some point to start up, but there seems to be a lot on this map. Seems to be normally the rarest resource. Uh, this constructor's coming out over here. So, yeah, let's put it there. I should have got my scout to find out what was there, really. Well, I can pretty much see everything now there. So, yeah, I can grab both of those resources. Let's do that. Construct Starbase. Uh, what a minor module there. So I should get the Durantium video next turn, and that's now given uh, me a big range boost, so I can find out pretty much everything over here. Uh, I should probably look up north first, because that's where another empire is more likely to be than down here. I think. Right, so nothing there. Let's come up to that one, is it? Okay, our movement. Ah, uh, that service ship's done. What about this one? If I could come up to there. That's oh, not actually. Right, I can see all three around that. Good. Okay, is that our movement? Uh, I think I'll find out that and then come back up north. Okay. So we found the Iridium, but God knows where they are. I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, planets. There's sadly no hotkey in the game for you to do all your ships first and then all your planets, for example, and that creates a real problem now. Uh, I'm wasting time here going through stuff I don't want to do. I want to do all my movement first. So I don't know why Stardock haven't added that. It's one of the many obvious things that they haven't added to the game that they should have done by now. Uh, let's move that down there. So it's rule of three. Uh, I'll come back up here I think with a scout, that scout can find the planets down there. Just that range for that. Idle ship, colony. Right, if 
from there. Oh, right, so I found a planet, which I may or may not be colonizing this turn.